Chapter 21 The Sloths, Anteaters, and Armadillos by W. P. Pycraft, ALS, FZS. The very remarkable assemblage of animals we are now about to consider includes many diverse forms, bracketed together to constitute one great group. And this on account of the peculiarities of the structure and distribution of the teeth, which are never present in the front of the jaw, and may be absent altogether. Of the five groups recognized, three occur in the new, and two in the old world. All have undergone very considerable modification of form and structure, and in every case this modification has tended to render them more perfectly adapted to an arboreal or terrestrial existence. Flying or aquatic types are wanting. Whilst one great group, the sloths, is entirely vegetarian,